Holy Manuel Ice, Lassie Ice, yeah. Rastafari, black again, another video with the priest. Bless up yourself, don't stress up yourself. Thank for our President God and King, King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, the black Christ in flesh, the same Father Moses in this time. Who lift up the serpent in the wilderness and heal the black house of Israelite. I and I, Lassie Ice, yeah. Rastafari, today we're going to talk about God's healing power and Western medicine, European Western medicine. Let's read from a medical page speaking on high blood pressure. It says, while there is no cure of high blood pressure, it is important for patients to take steps that matter such as making effective lifestyle changes and taking blood pressure lowering medications as prescribed by their physicians. So we're getting straight into it. We can see by the AMA medical institution that they're saying that there is no cure for high blood pressure. You know, diabetes, sickle cell, cancer, you know, yeah, the various ailments that, you know, we have in our goodies, you know, as human beings, you know, the medical world is saying, hey, there is no cure, you know. Um, so let's look further into it, you know. We're going to read from another medical field, you know, same set way. We're going to look into it a lot a lot deeper and see what's going on with this you know no cure no healing you know let's look at this paper from the national kidney foundation these the people who are responsible for your kidneys and you know that you know with blood pressure high blood pressure you know it is involved with your kidneys let's read what they say how is high blood pressure treated not cured treated there is no cure for high blood pressure, but treatment can lower blood pressure. Again, with medications, you know, this is another field of practice of Western medicine, you know, you know, different, you know, doctor's hospital and research centers, you know, testifying to the world that these ailments, high blood pressure, diabetes, you know, um, lupus, um, you know, arthritis, none of these things can be healed. You only can treat them with medication. Well, let's look at what medications has been doing, you know, for humanity, you know, as they prescribe. And as we look at the 2020 census, you know, of medication overdose there were 93 over 93,000 people died from medication overdose you see from the medications messing up with their systems you know so we can see that medication seems to do more harm and they're not intended to heal you know, no disease, you know, they're only for treatment, you know, and these are the things that the Western medicine, you know, doctors, scientists, you know, lab technicians, you know, they admit, you know, you can go online, online and Google it. They say there is no cure for high blood pressure, There's no cure for diabetes. You know, so it makes no sense coming to us looking for a cure. If you want your high blood, high blood pressure cured, don't come to us because we do not cure high blood pressure. You know, as far as we research, there is no cure for high blood pressure. You know, we only have medication, chemical pills that treat your blood pressure. You know, and at the same time, these laboratory pills and chemical pills, you know, they incidentally killed 
93,000 people just in 2022. Just in 2020 pass. You know, that's not 2021, 2022. Just 93,000 people died from the recommendation of the pharmaceutical companies, you know, to take part in, you know, these medical, you know, chemically made pills they use for treatment and which they say really is not for cure. You know, so why do we go to the hospitals looking for healing? Why do we go to the doctors when our pressure feels high and tension behind our necks? You know, and our eyes are yellow and full of jaundice and our feet hurt and our knees hurt. You know, and we have arthritis in our fingers. Why do we go to the doctors if they tell us that they cannot cure it? If the doctor said there is no cure for your arthritis. There is no cure for your high blood pressure. There is no cure for your diabetes. There is no cure for your restlessness. There is no cure for your impotence. We can't help you. All we can do is just treat your problem. You know, and I don't know which way, you know, because when we go to the scriptures now, you know, let's go to God. You know, God says in Genesis 1 and 29, and God said, Behold, I've given you every herb bearing seed which is on the face of the earth and every tree, you know, and God give this to us for food. You see, and true God give this to us for food, you know, when we look today, you know, a lot of the foods we eat today is not bearing seed. You see? Some of our foods are dairy products. Some of our foods are meats from animals, you see? But here the scripture says, And God said, Behold, I've given you every herb bearing seed. Mango bear seeds. Avocados bear seeds. You know, strawberries bear seeds. You know, all these different fruits, vegetables, sweet peppers, tomatoes, they bear seeds. They for food, you know. And, you know, when we look for it in the scripture, when we go in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 47, 12, it says, The fruit trees of all kinds will grow on both banks of the river. Their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail. Every month they will bear, because the water from the sanctuary flows to them. Their fruit will serve for food and their leaves for the healing. Now, those who are looking for healing of high blood pressure, you're looking for healing of... Of, of rickets, you're looking for healing of thyroid problems. You know, here we have an Ezekiel 47 saying the leaves of these trees are for the healing. You know, and the fruit of the tree is for the food. You know, so when we go into God here, we see that God is really trying to show us a picture of the way to eat and how to heal. When we go to Revelation 22 and 2, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was a tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yellow fruits every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. So even in the last book of the Bible in Revelation 22 and 2, God still tell us, the leaves are for the healing of the nations. The Royal family, yes, we can see the healing of all the nations, every nation, every kindred, every tongue. You know, then we look into the book of Psalms 103 and 3. It says, The Lord who forgive all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. You know, God is in the healing business. The Western medical world, they never told anyone that they came to heal you. They say, we treat. Treat your diseases. But God said he give you the leaves of the trees and the fruit bearing seeds to heal all your diseases. When we read in Psalms 30 and 2, it says, Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. And a lot of people would say, well, Bobo, you know, that was back in the days, you know, when God healed all of their diseases, you know, but 
Why would he write in the book of Revelation chapter 22 and 2? That's the last book. That's when everything then happened. All the prophecy already finished and we living in Zion in heaven. Even then he said the leaves is for the healing of the nation. It never changed. It's always for the healing. Then we look at Matthew 9 and 35. He says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their temples, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, of healing, of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. So he went through teaching the gospel and healing every sickness and every disease. That's what God does. God is a healer. You know, when we look at Matthew 11 and 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. One of the biggest dilemmas of illness in the world is, you know, insomnia. People can't sleep. The people can't rest. You know, they're taking pills and drugs to go to sleep. You know, in the Matthew 11, 28, so Come to me, all you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So if you come and you do what God say, Take the herbs, you know, the leaves of the trees and heal yourself. You will get rest by taking the word of God. Let's go into Jeremiah 30 and 17. He says, but I will restore you to health and heal your wombs, declares the Lord. So when we do what God says, God says the seeds bearing, the, the fruit that bears seeds in the middle is for your food. People argue with God give Israel meat and all these things, but that was when men fall away from God. When, you know, Methuselah them was living 800 years and Enoch them, they was eating seed bearing fruits and using the leaves to heal themselves, give them long life. You know, when we go into Jeremiah 17, 14, it says, heal, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. You know, so from God's perspective, you know, healing's supposed to be something natural. It's supposed to be common. You know, if you feel ill, you know, you grab the herbs, the leaves of the trees, you boil them and you heal yourself. You know, you have physicians, you know, people who know how to mix the trees, the herbs, even myself. You know, when we go into 2 Kings 20 and 5, this is what the Lord... The, the God of your father David says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. You know, using herbs and, you know, changing the diets of people that they eat fruits and veggies and, you know, the sea moss and all these things of the earth, all these rich plant, you know, nutrients and healing properties. We have people that are being healed. I once had high blood pressure. I don't have that no more. Ten years later, no high blood pressure. Just getting off the system. I was on their pills, their medication. You know, when we go into Revelation 21 and 4, he said, He will wipe away the tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. You know, the pain and the suffering and the death, you know. And when he speak of death, he's speaking of youthful death. He's speaking of tormentive death, you know. Not passing away in the old age healthy. You know, you passing away because you old. Because you, 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 you know, you, you, you 600 years, you 900 years old, you 300 years old, you at least 100 years old. You know, you passing away because you have high blood pressure, because you don't know what to eat, because you don't know what you, to use to heal your body. Well, let's go to the Bible. Let's go to Exodus 23 and 25. It says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessings will be on your food and water, and I will take away sickness from among you. So, God is teaching us that sickness is coming from the food and it's coming from the water. Even a great doctor, Dr. Sebi, said that, you know, the, you know, viruses are not, you know, what they said is killing Africa. They, they laboratory made diseases. He said hepatitis C is killing Africa. The, the bad water. 
Yeah, that's the problem. You see, the water is sick. It's dirty. It's full of a pollution. The food is eating the wrong food. So you have sickness among the people. You see? Let's read in Psalms 146 and 8. He said, The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. Righteous is those who follow instruction. You know, even blind people are being healed. You know, using herbs and eating the right food, drinking healthy, clean water, natural water, you know, eating natural things from the earth, you know, staying, you know, away from chemicals, toxins, you know, me, I and I personally, I cannot go to someone for healing if this person is telling me they do not heal. It's an oxymoron. It's ridiculous. Why would I go to a person if I have high blood pressure? If they tell me, I don't heal your high blood pressure. I can't, you know, I can maintain your high blood pressure. And I think that my high blood pressure could do it itself. It's obviously high. I don't need no one to help me to keep it high. You know, I need to get rid of the pressure. You know, I need to be healed of it. You know, and when we go into James 5 and 14, he says, Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. You know, research over and over again, they find in oils, different oils. Most people, when you read a scripture like that and you see, let the elders anoint them at all, you be thinking this European, you know, Roman Catholic doctrine of anointing, taking, you know, your hand and putting a little oil on the people's forehead. No. In this scripture, he's talking about mixing herbs, oil, and getting the oils from them. Essential oils from the herbs. And anointing the whole person, rubbing their whole body down from their head. One of the scriptures says, he anoints me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And through this anointing oil, this essential healing oil, rub all over the body from the head, crown of the head to the sole of the feet, especially the crown, the center of the head. That, that heals you. Scientifically, it's going to heal you. Because it's alkaline and, and, and it has all these tannins and all these, these, these vitamin K and minerals that, you know, interact with the skin. You know, through the pores, you know. Let's go into Proverbs 4, 20 and 22. 20 to 22. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear. To my sins, do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. And health to all their flesh. My son, give attention to my words. Listen to what God is telling us. Incline our ears to his sin. Means take, take close attention to what he's saying. And, 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 and apply it to your life. Don't let it depart from you, from your eyes, and keep them in the midst of your heart. And by keeping the words of God and doing what God says, it will bring life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, you will be healed by following God, by following the teachings of God, following the teachings of Christ. Even the question was asked, was there a, is there a bomb in Gilead? You know, let's go ahead and read dreams 5 and 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. When it says confess your sins, it's showing you um, as many times that, you know, I reason with people about health and nutrition and I tell them what God says that they're supposed to eat and the herbs they're supposed to use for their healing. And many of them will confess their sins. They will say, for true, Baba Shanti, I should not be eating those things. God did say don't eat that. And when they confess their sins and they accept their wrong and they eat the things that God telling me, they become healed. This is evident. This is real. Even when I accepted the truth. I was healed of my blood pressure and up to the day, 43 years old, from 22 years old. You know, you know, just high blood pressure free. 
you know. Let's go into Psalm 41 and 3. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. So I'm not saying that our goody doesn't get ill. You know, the weather changes. You eat something wrong. You understand? You know, you end up in some, you know, incident, accident, something that causes your health to diminish. You know, you end up in a stressful situation, traumatic situation, you know, it destroy, you know, damages your health. You end up in a sick bed. God says with the herbs and eating the right fruits and vegetables, the right herbs, drinking the leaves, you know, the man say, you know, he restores everyone out of their bed of illness. You know, so I encourage everyone today to think and look within yourself. Who do you trust? The Western European scientists that just came, you know, out of dark ages, you know, to bring us, you know, this Western medicine of pills and, you know. Yes, Royal Family, and lack of healing, you know. God promises healing. He promises if we eat right, if we drink the herbs, you know, you can check any local herbalist, you know, who understand, you know, the trees and the healing properties. You have stuff like the hyssop, the aloe vera, you know, the burdock root, the sarsaparilla root, chinibraya, five finger, madeira bark, love vine, you know, the mint. And the lion, you know, we got so many healing leaves out there. The Kamalami tree, you know, Kamalami wood, Madeira bark, some of the bark of trees, the root of some trees, you know, the chinny briar root, you know what I mean, the love vine, some vines we use. God is a healer. Trust God, you know, black again.